Hey, everybody, Russell W. Oker, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS, bringing more to the table. And it's a couple of Warrior wins today. We go to 21-9 on the year. i got Coach Matt Torres here. This is our fairway meet and grocery post game. And, Coach, Marshalltown's a team that uh, obviously, uh, you know, is at the bottom of the pack uh, coming in games you expect to win. The first game, uh, you know, we went at 8-7, to seven, but I'm sure that's one of those games where I'm glad that I'm up here and not down there because, uh, you know, you get the win, but I'm sure there were some things that uh, you, you weren't overly pleased about. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't play very well from top to bottom, me included. Uh, I, you know, I was I'm just kind of trying to conserve our arms. The same guy's been going out there, and that's what I was, my thought process was. And then we got in a dogfight and, uh, you know, a little bit of me trying to figure out from there. And uh, I just – kind of told our team like from top to bottom then that that includes me you know what i mean i got we got to be better we got to be better and be more prepared to play um everybody that shows up and that, i think that's the biggest point right now still young kind of immature team just figuring out hey it's 85 degrees out here and it's just fun to play baseball Golby, uh, I thought was okay. I mean, you know, and so your thoughts on on his performance and where he fits in right now with this as your pitching staff. Obviously, we're, we're kind of probably midway through, uh, you know, the the season here. So, and that was one of the things where I was from the very beginning. I I turned to Tanner and uh, and Daniel was like, okay, hey, like, do we try to save like throw him two or three innings and then you know try to get him you know be usable on the weekend for us and add another arm in the weekend and you know, out of the pen and stuff, and then it just kind of started uh, snowballing the wrong way, and we had to kind of reevaluate what we are doing. So that's on me about thinking future instead of present. Uh, so I, I like him. He competes. I, he's probably in the right spot for us. He gives us a chance in the midweek, uh, makes us, you know, pretty deep right there. Figueroa, solid day for for him in both games. He's a pretty good player. Uh, you know, we've taken the – I don't know if you've noticed, but we took the left-handed swing away from him. Yeah. And uh, he's been all right-handed, and uh, he just—I think it plays with his legs a little better. The left side gets the ball in the air too much, um, so he just—you know—he gives us a chance, and he's done a really good job for us for two years now. So, somebody made the comment the other day. I think it might have been Austin, my son. He's like, it seems like he's been here forever. I go, yeah, because he's played since day one. So when he's always around, he, he, it seems like they're here forever. Well, he's one hit away from a hundred. You pulled him out on us, and we're like, well, now we're not going to get to see it on Go Hills TV because I'm guessing I hope he gets it uh, before he before our next to Go Hills broadcast. But uh, he's a hit away from 103 runs away from 100 runs. So he's going to join some special company when that happens, the latest being uh, Ricardo Van Greken, who is a heck of a ball player for us. But he'll be only the third guy or the fourth guy in a 10-year stretch to do that. So pretty, pretty uh, uh, special company that he's going to join, assuming that, uh, you know, Obviously, he's got a little bit of work to do there, but uh, he's he's a pretty special kid. But uh, Jesus Rodriguez, how are you going to keep him out of the lineup? What's I, mean? uh, I don't I don't know. I don't. Uh, the the deal is right now is how do we get him in there? And you know, like I made the comment to him. You know, that's one of the reasons why you take defense serious, so we can get your bat in the you can get your bat in the lineup. And you know, just hasn't probably done enough defensively to for me to trust. I talk to the guys all the time. I got to trust you to get you in there, and um, you know. So uh, right right now he's probably our hottest hitter and mm-hmm. probably making the loudest contact and it's it's a sp- it's special bat speed it really is you know what I mean it's it's loud it's loud contact but he makes it uh, so and he can run he just for some reason when he gets defensively he doesn't he doesn't play defensively so you know he's, I, he stole the base he wasn't really supposed to stole the base but like he did a really good he did a really good job and I was like oh that's uh, that's pretty good he you know made a really good run right there and. Uh, but it just doesn't play the same way in the outfield for some reason. All right, uh, second game, Gordiev uh, goes out, gets uh, gets the win for you. He was he was pretty darn good today. Uh, uh, they must not see him very well. Most guys, for some reason, you know what I mean. Like he's uh, he just fastball, breaking ball, and but he's six eight and it throws it downhill and explodes yeah. on you a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's up to eighty seven, and you know sometimes it's eighty three, and I kind of have my moments over here where I get in him and be like, Hey man, we got to cut this loose. Cause he'll get worried about just throwing strikes. And I'm like, no, like you, you can do it at, at, at more effort. You know what I mean? Like you can throw it harder and throw in the plate. Uh, he, he you know, he's, he's kind of talented. So I you know I'm, I'm just keeping, uh, you know, uh, my expectations somewhere n- level with that kid. Cause I really do think it's going to pop someday and be pretty special. Logan Myers has uh, had a solid year for you, and especially of late, a uh, young man swinging the bat 
pretty well for you. If there's one kid that wants to get after it every day, that's that's the kid, man. He really wants to get out of it, get after it. He brings a, probably a football attitude to baseball and uh, really competitive. And, you know, he's he's probably kind of our guy in the dugout that, uh, you know, brings some energy and, you know, lets the guys know when we need to step it up a little bit. All right, so you are now, uh, I, I've got you at uh, 12 and 4 in the conference. Didn't see what, uh, I don't know if Iowa, I can't remember if they played today or not, but coming in today, you were tied with Iowa Western in the conference. So this thing's going to be, it could be real interesting down the stretch as to who's going to get that number one seed uh, in the in the Region 11 tournament. How important is, is that, you think, having the number one? Uh, I don't know that it's, in our tournament, it's not that uh, important. Um, as opposed to the Division Two, getting one seed or two seed because they get a bye. So we don't get a bye. We just – I would say that Iowa Western probably doesn't want to finish four and we don't want to finish four and they finish one. Does that make sense? We right, probably don't exactly. want to see each other right off the bat. So, uh, you know, the the one, or, the one seed is, you know, on our side is probably not that big a deal. Um, but when it comes to the tournament, game one is important. You know what I mean? Like right. you got to make sure you do, do your due diligence and uh, – you know, make sure you conserve some some arms, and th- that's that's the big part in our, in our on our side is uh, you know game one is is really important. So we got, uh, I mean, here we are, uh, you know, nearing the middle of April. This tournament's going to get on us pretty quick. You're going to play a lot of games before then. What essentially do you need to figure out yourself about this team between now and the time that we start postseason play? Well, I, you know, I was getting really excited about our team, and I thought we did some really good things, uh, both you know, offensively and uh, pitching wise. And then, you know, we've just hit this last uh, three or four game spell here where uh, we probably haven't been as good. You know, even you know Kirkwood on Thursday, it was like, man, we we're pretty good. We they got good pitching and they got good you know, but good ball club. And we went out there and had a good day offensively and thought we really competed in the strike zone. And then, uh, you know, this weekend we just. I don't know. It just wasn't there. Not. I don't. I don't. I don't. Can't figure it out. Uh, you know, we kind of struggled offensively uh, three or four games now too. And you know, in the first game, we just didn't do our job. And we did a really good job here at the end. I know what it, whatever Marshalltown is. It's not really my my worry. But my worry is, can we go out and be competitive uh, at bat to at bat, no matter who's pitching? So I thought uh, you know we did a better job in game two. And um, sometimes you know guys. They get caught up in who's playing, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. if it's Iowa Western, if it's Marshalltown, and they try to bring different energies instead of uh, – we t- talked about it the other day. I don't know if you read the quote from Fred Couples. He's like, I can't compete with John Rahm or I can't pe- compete with whoever, but I can compete with myself. And I had told him about that, like, hey, man, like, you need to compete with yourself and against the baseball every single day, not who's sitting in the other dugout, not who's on the mound. Like, I need to just compete with myself and be the best version of me every second of the day. All right. Well, you get the win today. Game two, you came out, took care of business. I mean, that one was over almost before it started. Twenty-two to one, uh, get the win there, and uh, now, so now you're twenty-one to nine. Got to go to Nebraska this weekend. We wish you the best of luck. And the next time that we see you at home, I go Hills. It'll be Parents Weekend, which is always fun because free hot dogs are great. <laughs> I mean, uh, absolutely. So good luck to you on that. Congrats on the two uh, Atomo Job Corps Warrior wins today. The Warriors get the win, eight seven and twenty-two to one today over uh, the team from Marshalltown. I go to twenty-one and nine on the year. That's going to do it for us. Big thanks to Fairway for bringing us our post game, and of course our presenting sponsor uh, JBS, uh, bringing more to the table. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Russ W. Hooker for Coach Torres and the entire crew. So long, everybody.